Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 23, Blue Dress Imagine this, a habitual night in a rural town. The familiar cold kiss of darkness sweeps the land like death on his way to reap the souls he knows are nearing the hour of twilight. You sit outside on your porch and you watch the stars shoot by like fireflies. The best thing about having your own private pool? Night swims. As you make your way there, you look to the direction of the pool to see intense splashing. What you see next will chill you to the core. Even more so, this truly happened. Let's find out what he saw. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Dylan, and I have a terrifying paranormal encounter I wish to get out to your audience. The date was July 2009, and all was seemingly a normal day. This land I used to live on wasn't paranormally active until we moved in. My mother and I were by the pond in the back of our property. We were relaxing in our lawn chairs and embracing the sun while it was still up, when all of a sudden, I heard a little girl giggling behind me. It wasn't just me that heard it. Both my mom and I turned around to see a girl between seven to eight years old in a blue dress running playfully past us. My mom called out and was confused because we had never seen her before, let alone on our property. So she curiously stood up and walked towards her. She went behind a tree and she seemingly vanished. This rattled both of us. As if things couldn't get any worse, they were about to, and this would lead me to being traumatized for a while. Later that night, I was sitting on the porch admiring the night sky above before going for a refreshing night swim in our pool. The moon shined bright and I wasn't passing up an opportunity like this. Anyway, while I was on the porch, I was about to spark a joint when all of a sudden, I heard something fall into the pool. An intense splashing came after and what preceded it was a short gasp that sounded like a little girl. I got nervous and I ran over to the pool. It was empty from the look of it. So I got into the pool and slowly dipped my whole body in. As I went underwater, I got the shock of my life when at the bottom of the pool was a body. Through the watery haze, I was able to make out a head and torso with a blue dress. The same unmistakable blue dress my mom and I saw on the little girl. One thing that stuck in my mind was despite the white walls of the pool, her skin was incredibly pale. I got out of the pool and gasped for a breath. When I turned back to where she would have been, no one was there, except a shadow darker than dark with a top hat, standing there and kneeling over the pool where she was. It looked up at me and vanished into the night. I had enough and booked it back into the house. That event would cause us both to move to a new place. To this day, I have never forgotten the blue dress. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.